Hi right, guys, uh, Slashy Punnett back at you with uh, Blue Love Light of Sunshine. We've picked up another person along the way. Uh, he's decided to go by Admiral Watanabe uh, after the character Yo, uh, who we, <laughs> whose cards we finished reviewing without him. It wasn't after Again, the actor. Yeah. Oh well. It wasn't named after oh, the actor. Like... Disappointment. Oh well. Let's um, let's go anyway. So first card, Alizora Jumper card, Dear Kurosawa. Uh, when this is placed from hand stage, check the top card here deck. If it's a music character, add it to hand, discard a card. And one cost, clock your top clock the top card of your deck. When this is placed from stage to waiting room, so when it dies, you may pay cost. If you do, draw a card. After thinking about the actor, <clears throat> I immediately jumped to thinking about the director after hearing Kurosawa. That's like the first thing that happened. Um mm. Well, there's two Kurosawa's in the set, so you're going to be thinking about that a lot. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I really just want to keep thinking about the director, because, like, his movies are great. But uh, in this case, this card is fine. Like, it's a free discard outlet. It's good. And then the second yeah. effect is nice. It reminds uh, me a lot of Inazuma for the second ability. In, in, like, yeah, it is a yeah, little bit like Inazuma, yeah. just less yeah. in every way, unfortunately. In context, I think you're always going to clock draw first if you're going to use that ability and then reveal. Just because it Wait, gets what? You... No, it's 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 stage it's to waiting down. room. Oh, it's yeah. when it's stage to waiting room. Never mind. I yeah. thought they were both coming. You try, you try. <laughs> if they were both coming no, play I, effects, I, I you know, do it in no, order. It almost seemed like I'll never get Wave Wars to Ilya at first yeah. sight. <laughs> but then uh, you realize only like activates on death for the plus draw. Or not even a plus, it's like a low draw. Yeah, in that case, it's mm -hmm. a little bit more awkward. She uh, actually wears a floater. But I, I doubt. Yeah, it's it's a floater in Yu-Gi-Oh terminology. It's it's still fine. Like this card probably is gonna be your blue fixer of choice if you're running. Blue. It's mm -hmm. it's playable. There's another good blue card at level zero, and there's not much. I I like blue is okay, but a lot of it is very space intensive. There are some good blue cards, but we'll get to them. But this is definitely like a solid Look. blue fixer of choice. Like it, yeah. it does. I actually I think this is a solid playable plus. Like it's a mm -hmm. it's a hand fixer. It gives you a discard out. It uh it gives you your card back when you're done punching them in the face on turn one. Like uh I I don't have any problem with this card at all. All right. It's best girl. Right. <laughs> Next card, uh, it's joke? it's joke, yeah, it's joke. Uh, I'm not even gonna read the name. I'm just gonna say it's joke. So it's one zero three. Okay. That's, that's a very accurate name, actually. <laughs> Pretty much. When this is placed from hand stage, look at the top card of your deck and either top it or bottom it. When it's taxed, this gains X power, where X is one K times the number of your other music characters. And when this becomes reversed in battle, check the top card of your deck if it's level two or higher. Bounce this to your hand. All right, so I, I I just want to go on record saying I've got a personal vendetta against this sort of card. The the community at large is terming it a coin flip card. I don't think that's quite accurate. Um, I mean, yeah, once you tune your deck to it, it is approximately like a 50-50 chance, slightly better than 50-50, to bounce it back to your hand. It's but that's a really bad higher, thing. Right? Yes, yeah. so you need to reveal level 2 or level 3. That's yeah. why you see like these um, decks are like a Gorillion level 2 and 3. So in like, yeah, a, just... in like a standard deck these days, like assuming that you weren't immediately building for that effect, this is going to be, what, like a hit 20% of the attack? Like yeah. 20 Less to 25% max? Not, not, I'm not even uh, 15. 15 is high. It'd be like 12. Even 12 is pretty yeah, high. So you're looking like a 20-25% yeah. chance to hit on this. It's okay. No. And it's, uh, any additional no, look, concessions I'm... you make to this effect just makes your deck weaker. Yeah, look, I'm I'm not a fan of this effect simply because all it does is make it so you're dependent on luck for your advantage. And oh, it's also even 3k you can't... power. Yeah, well, it's, it's 3k, it's gonna die, but the, like, we'll get to why it's good like, soon. Like, um... Uh, I am just not a fan of the fact that it's reliant, reliant on luck to get your advantage and to play a game at all. Like, I understand that Motogari has a bomb that does this and it's just kind of a thing on the side, and I've got no objection to that, but that's because Monogari doesn't, Monogari doesn't live or die on that bomb bouncing back to hand. The decks that are built around this live or die on that effect, and I really don't like that. Now, as for this card gamble. itself, this card itself I think is fine. Like. Yeah, the third effect I object to, but I can't deny its power. Like, sometimes it's just a free yeah. plus. That's, that's Seven, obscene. 7k is... 
Yeah. No, it'll be eight, it'll be eight k. It won't be seven k. Uh, yes. Like, no. Yes. Okay. No, it's other. It's other. It's other. And we already we we already oh, talked tried. about we've already talked about one zero seven k's. That makes it so much worse. I thought it was a one zero eight k. Yeah, that's other. Oh, that's, uh, no. Yeah, Hokkaido. Hokkaido. We've okay. already <laughs> talked about one zero seven k's. <laughs> All right, now it's just a one zero seven k with top check, which makes it so much worse than I thought it was, and I'm I'm just not happy anymore. Uh, Never mind. So yeah, you yeah, try right. to it's... give X joke a chance. We yeah. we, we <laughs> can we can try to compare it to like the index, I but that my index is. is joke, actually. Yeah. It's this is this is like uh, we've automated it, so you can't actually do that anymore. Sorry, but you can you can just say that that's the rating you gave. Look, this card is not index. Index is a lot better than this card. Yeah, never uh, mind that index five, is eight five on the like on the last one that you eight, played. Eight five on the last, and even even yeah. seven. It's seven five on the second to last. And that's already pretty good. And it also yeah, that's pretty good. The part about it is you could have three lands of one zero seven k's, but why even? <laughs> Yeah, like, it's not good on defense. Uh, the scry effect is fine. Like, the best thing you do with it is you look at the top, spend about, like... Oh, actually, no. If you're going to play Yoki Soba, you just kind of slam it back on top and play the play Yoki Soba and what? reveal your level 1. Burn them for 5. I mean, for Yoki Soba, I think... I mean, you people went over Chico Takami earlier, and right? you probably might have explained that that could be a card that could help definitely guarantee your Yoki Soba. You could. Uh, Chico Takami? Which one was that? Uh, the level, anti level three, on play reveal oh. topic so level zero character second key stock. Yeah, fair enough. No, that's that's actually a good point. That does guarantee Yoki server. Well, that doesn't mean, guarantee. Just, I mean, if it flips zero, guarantee. Or... if you either get stock or oh, if it's if it's not a if it's yeah. not a climax. I yeah. mean, if it's a level zero, it doesn't guarantee anything. This is yeah. a lot more concrete. So there's that. But now that I know it's a seven k, I'm really down. I thought it was an eight. I thought it was just three 8Ks attacking, and then they all bounce back because you sack your level 2 flips, but... Uh, anyway, this is, I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm way down this card. It's, it's gone from, like, niche plus to niche for me. And I'm, it's, yeah. it's just niche. Yeah. Yeah. I was considering giving it the meta rating for a while, and that's just no. no I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Other. All right. Next up. Uh, Alzora Jumping Heart, Kanan Matsura. This is a 3 2 9k. When this is placed from hand stage, draw a card, and then this gains 2k for the turn. Then it has one cost, ditch a card, ditch a music character from hand. When this attacks, if you have. Why did I. No. When this attacks, if you have another music character, oh, you may pay cost. <laughs> if you do, heal one. Oh, that's. Pretty neat. And then three cost. This activates up to once a turn. When the battle opponent of this is reversed, if you have uh, Kanan's version of Alzora Jumping Heart in the climax zone, uh, that one is a uh, it's a pants, right? It's a pants. Yeah, pants. Right? Yeah, pants. Yep. So um, if you have that in the climax zone, you may pay three. If you do, restand this. This is really funny to me. Like, oh, okay, so it's going to be twelve k with the climax the turn you play it. Yeah. Uh, and it can also potentially heal you twice. For like uh, 10 trillion stock. For like yeah. 5 <laughs> stock plus a, 2 discards and a climax. So. I mean, it's 5 and stock two, when you gain so the seven. stock back, So it's, yeah. it's a net 3 cost ditch 2 cards. Well, it's, which it's is more than. Really heavy. Depends if you count playing the character as part of the cost as well. Oh, I don't, because that I count that as just getting a character. And then the yeah, climax fact, combo is also a real cost here. Yeah, like she she comes down, she's kind of fat, she joys your card. Um, so yeah. But you can potentially <laughs> spend a bunch of stock to heal a bunch of times. Um, probably more efficient to heal with the other climax combo, or with just early place. <laughs> Yes, but I also have to point out that this is not just a double heal, it's a restand. Yes, this a is very a restand. Cheap, like a relatively cheap restand as well. Pay 3 just, restand uh, is pretty good. We uh, see these but... all reverse abilities and we feel like it's just simply out of place in the current competitive environment. Yeah, because it has the reverse. Everyone and their second mother seems to have access to a sack counter. Or anti-damage. <laughs> or anti-damage, yeah. yes. Because this thing has to actually front to actually be able to proc to begin with. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the card isn't bad per se, but no, it's definitely it's not ideal in the current in meta, meta environment. And even in certain older environments, it's still not ideal. Uh, I don't recall seeing very many power boosters so far 
Oh, there's there's a two one level X. You're, we're gonna get to a two one support pretty soon. All right. So level X or is it two K level boost three? Is pretty high. It's two K level three. That's a lot okay, better. Sure. That's a lot better. Fourteen K is a lot. Like you played that you played that card regardless. You definitely play that card even in the meta yeah, because yeah. it's just a good we'll, we'll explain why that card's it's a lot better. Fucking good. Uh, but in, yeah, it's in, got in, a good. Effect. In this case, I can't give my like I can't give the card a higher rating than a niche. It's just not the finisher of choice. It takes up a climax uh, slot, and in general. As of right now, the way I see it, like red has the best level one combo and the best level yeah. three combo, so you have to be able to compete with one of those. And this yeah, doesn't do quite agree. beat it out for me. Uh, it's not that the effect itself is bad; it's just in this case, it's not worth running over the other one. Uh, in general, this card is perfectly serviceable on its own, though. If you want to go that route instead, that still push it puts it into the niche rating for me. You're, you've decided to make this your build around instead. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll agree with this. Yeah, alright. Um, Yo, fun cards. Play, whatever. Very yeah, fun so cards. Dia Kurosawa. So, this is a global 500 and also has when your opponent brainstorms and they hit, uh, you may draw a card. If so, discard a card. So, this card is sweet. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, you do have to, um, yeah. So it's it's a you'll probably on average get like two free filters a game because your opponent will be crutching on their brainstorm like a scrub. That that's just what they do. And the global five hundred doesn't hurt at all. Like it's fine. You can get more if you're playing against like Kantai sometimes. Yeah, well Kantai. Uh, Compass is a brainstorm. Oh, so yeah, so it is. But it's Kantai true. doesn't. Kantai doesn't play normal Brainstorm, so they in reality, you actually get that. No, they didn't. Yeah. No, they don't uh, play. All right. No, their back row is mainly... Uh, You'll get, like, six if you're playing C1, against... C3. Uh, what's the set? What's that set? Uh, Zero no Tsukaima? You'll get, like, six of these? Zero no, no, no. no. Uh, <laughs> ZN, ZNT, you won't. Um, you'll get the most hits against Triad Primus, because that... Oh, that's, that's true. Just... They're brainstorming every turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you also probably yeah, want to hit against KOF because they're probably also brainstorming yeah. every turn. Or you can go that thing. Oh, fucking <laughs> and they're probably brainstorming multiple times each turn because they have to, not because they want to. Oh, uh, that tragedy of a set. Let's get the card use out of here, folks. Uh, I like this card, though. I like this card a lot. Yeah, I know. This Dio card is definitely great. This is a, this oh is no! Oh no! Just to Osomatsu. <laughs> this is a solid playable card. If they're using Osomatsu yes. to kill us, I don't feel that bad. No, I mean I'm just saying as like a side joke. <laughs> like Dice the Kaiki is, is a meme. Osomatsu recently. Like Dice the Kaiki is the Weiss equivalent of Dice the Doomblade. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite as brutal, but like it's it's the equivalent meme. Uh, this does die to Kaiki. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is playable. Very playable. I don't, I don't see an argument for better than playable in, in context here. Well, I just want a few actual globals. I don't think you need globals, though. Yeah, well, they could help. Uh... I guess, but if your level 1 game is bombs, like, you don't really need the power. Well... Sorry, I had to take a phone call. Anyway. Moving onward. Moving on. Uh, it's joke. So it's joke. It's joke? Why is it it's joke? That's her catchphrase. It's joke. That's what she says every time she comes on you, screen. You don't know about it's joke? She just constantly says it's joke. That's the only thing she ever says. Anyway, uh, this card is a 2k. Uh, if you have one or few other characters, it gains 1-5. Uh, so it's a 3-5 on turn 1. And if you have one or few other characters, all your other characters gain 1-5. So, so if you character. have two of these, five have two 5k. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doing it. Um, but no, that requires um, that requires you to have two of them. And it's still very vulnerable to being bombed. I mean, sometimes your opponent doesn't have a bomb. Sometimes you have two 5k's that farm for free for a while. But as soon as you hit level 1, they're just going to get eaten by level 1s. And you're going to feel... Like, I mean, you're not going to feel silly because you probably got advantage from them, but even so... If you're playing against two lover without the clock bombs, you'll feel real good. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. the real reason I don't advocate running this is because you have a runner in this set. Yeah. 
that runner well, is just. I do know yeah. some people do argue that this car could make that runner bigger, like a thirty five hundred big. <laughs> you don't need to run like a mediocre car to make another good car better. Yeah. Like that's just the definition yeah. of win more. That is true. Yeah, and you don't need more blue fixing either because you have both the both the years are just good, and you want to play some number of yellow and red cards anyway. So you can't overload on blue even if you want to, honestly speaking. Okay, um, much too this car gets a niche rating, this I guess. This card is fine. No, I think this card this is playable. fine. Playable. I mean, it is, it is full playable, I, I guess. Playable. You're just not going to play playable. this very often, I don't think. Yeah. I do agree. Oh, jeez. Shall we move on? Kanan Matsura. Uh, she's a 1025. Uh, during your opponent's turn, all your other music characters gain 1k. And when your character's trigger reveals a climax card, give a card 2000 power. So she just got like it's a, a bus size improvement from like her season one, or like her version one variant, right? <laughs> I'm not sure if Nozomi has a bigger or smaller. Like, I, that's not the sort of thing that I look up in my free time. Maybe <laughs> someone else can like enlighten me on that. But regardless, she's a she's I a that was serviceable a meme. support. Is it? I don't know. Wait, what's the meme? Huh? Something about like small breasted characters in Love Live and and I'm asked. Maybe I'm missing something. Small I think you are breasted. Missing. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm missing let's something. Not, like, let's not go too far in that territory I'm right sure now. I'm sure there's something there, but anyway, eh. this is serviceable support. Uh, if you're playing uh, like a a pseudo wall level one, then I think that this card mm -hmm. makes the cut. For example, if you're running the um the Ruby oh Advanced Summon. That. Yeah, like the, the Ruby Advanced Summon, I think, uh, warrants something like this in the back row. Um, but otherwise, there's just really not a lot of cards which benefit very much from this. No, like, I would say either her or level 1-1, one, one, uh, Yo Watanabe, the hand on corner. The issue with Yo Watanabe that we've established earlier is that if you're running Yo Watanabe, chances are you're also running Chica's because, level 1 combo, and yeah. that's a bomb. And when you bomb things, it's no longer in the field to keep Yo at a healthy 7-5. I mean, even so it while this is still like, only a 5k. Hmm. Nice like throw. if you if you give up the combo, um, or if you give up the bomb combo, which I don't advise, then you can have like a Yo, then you can have uh, like some number. You can have vanillas if you really wanted, and they'd be 6-5, and it wouldn't be the worst. But as it stands, this needs a this needs things to work around it. And I don't know if the things that work around it are even comparable to just the climax combos. Honestly speaking. Yeah. It's I'm... not that this card is bad, it's that the cards that it needs to work well aren't particularly good. So, I'm going to say this for this I'm going to agree on yeah. niche. It is the definition of a niche card for me. I, I, don't think even the... if, like... I don't think the wall deck is where you probably want to be at. No, I am your like... wall on this, so... Like, you know how double R's are strong, right? What's the best level one blue double R? And how does it interact with this card? Just think about that for a moment. The answer is it doesn't at all. Like, not even slightly. No. 4K on opponent's turn. Well, two of them makes it a 5K. Oh, man. Still dies <laughs> to everything. <laughs> And it doesn't, anyway. here's the problem, it doesn't even help on your own turn unless you start triggering climaxes, which is bad times. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's, like, bad on all counts. I don't, no, I don't think the with, card is with bad. That I just don't one think zero, with that 1-0, with that 1-0, there is no yes, combo okay. to be had. that's fair enough, I do agree with that. Alright, uh, next card, uh, Aquarium, Kanan Matsu. Um, this was the card that you're supposed you... to play the other one with. <laughs> I suppose, but it's still yeah. not good. I'm not saying like, yeah. I'm saying this is what you're supposed to do. This is what they yeah, wanted. Cool. Um, for, supposed for each to. other. Yeah, supposed to, but not not a lot. Like, okay, so it's a 1045, and you're probably expecting, like, um, an Ellie effect. So it's just a 1065, because, I mean, you know... It does have an Ellie effect. Fine. It has very similar effects to that, but not even close to as good. Uh, when another music character attacks, this gains 500 power to do, like... My problem with this effect is that it's so bad when you have three of this card on the field, and that's one of the things you want to aim to. Four five like, five five four five five k five five. What a board! Yeah, that's and and then on your opponent's turn, for each of your other music characters, it gains five hundred power, so they go up to being like eight fives. Uh, oh, they or go sorry, to seven being fives. 
Seven five is without the one zero. Eight five with one. Nine five with two. And then you get bombed. It'll, no, it'll it'll be yeah, it'll be six five seven and seven five without the one zero. And yes, it doesn't no, no, even no. get a level. No, no, or no. They, they always get the power from each other, so they'll always they'll all be the same power on opponent's turn. The ability still triggers, like, even if they've already attacked. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah so no, you'll, you'll, I, I you'll, overlooked that. You'll have a board yeah, of seven that's... fives if you have two of the one zero back rows, and then you die to bombs. Yeah. I mean. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, like the vulnerability to bombs is, I think, a big problem. Uh, this card is again niche. Uh, yeah, I think it does. Mean. Like, you've got the startings of some Kanan waifu deck or whatever, but or just um, not. Or base I make blue better somehow in like a subsequent inevitable set. <laughs> in a subsequent, in a subsequent inevitable set, if that is still an option you need to play at level one for blue, then I, I, I I'm not very impressed to be honest. <laughs> Isn't that like the story of love life? If this is what you have to play in the next set, I'm not going to be very impressed. <laughs> That's just like been love life story for like all of love life. No. Let's move on before someone someone gets depressed. <laughs> next card, <laughs> <laughs> dear. So the three two ten k. If you got three or more other music characters, it gains one k power. During battles involving this, your opponent can't play backups from hand, so you can still play events, but they can't play character counters. And during your opponent's turn, when damage taken by you isn't cancelled, if this is in the front row, check the top card of your deck and put it back on top or put it in the waiting room. So this is the defensive scry effect. I alluded to this earlier with the stupid Yoki Sobo thing, but um, honestly speaking, since you can't advance summon this, it's just a low-impact card that... Uh, it doesn't do enough. Like it doesn't do enough on the turn it's played. Uh, it requires you to be playing this sort of not killing them game, which your best level three isn't particularly good at. Right? This also combos with the one zero back row. You can be thirteen k on opponent's turn, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have like heal counters I'm or anything. Really trying to, to it. keep bringing up the one zero Kaga. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, the the not backups is largely relevant. The most important cards that you're playing yeah. around are generally events, uh, except for specifically sack counters. But it doesn't say your opponent can't play sack counters in general, just not when this is attacking. So, like, they're still going to sack yeah. counter your resander if they have it. Um, mm. So it doesn't even stop that. And, like... All it does is keep it around um, for the next turn in most situations. Like, 11k is okay, but, like, 11k is not necessarily even enough to get over on offense against everything, either. Especially if your climax. choice is going to be um, the 1-0. I mean, the 2-1 support will help, and we'll get to it soon, yeah. but... Um, yeah. The defensive scry ability... This effect, is, this effect is good in multiples, but since you can't advance some it, the time window in which this effect can even be good is narrowed so dramatically. And, yeah, um, yeah that, that kills the card for me, to be honest. This card gets a niche from me. If you could early play it, it would get a playable. Uh, it would be a, a valid alternative yeah. to potentially other yeah, good early plays. This was first revealed in uh, TV commerce. I was hoping that maybe it could be early play, but... But oh, the well. fact that there is no early play for it makes it niche at best. You're only playing it because you like yeah. this girl. Yeah. Or maybe yeah, you, like a, maybe you're someone that actually game. hungers to either baller check and wreck or... You want your Yoki Soba, so no. hold on your turn. We don't talk about baller check and wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh, move on. Kill me now. <laughs> it's joke. 3-2. 10k. If there are six or more climax cards in waiting room, this gets neg one level in hand, so it has an advanced summon condition. And at the start of your opponent's draw phase, if this is in the front row, choose a character, that character gains 4k. It's uh, fine. So this advanced summon condition sucks. I hate it a lot, especially in a deck that has spoiler. It has an us effect, uh, so you'll be milling for your deck at a pretty rapid rate, and chances are you won't even be level two by the time you refresh. Damn, love which love. means you're gonna have to you're gonna have to spam like us effects in order to get this card out at all at level two. And if you don't get it out at level two, then it it's it, it does even less than the deal we just talked about. Yeah. yeah. Um, notably, it isn't an early play healer, and this effect, although obnoxious, is generally played as almost just filler. It's, it's played as a 2-2. And if you're not playing mm -hmm. this as a 2-2, you shouldn't be playing this card at all. 
Yeah. Uh, like, this only wins you one row, and at the point where this comes out, people have stopped caring about winning the field and are more about preparing for the late game and continuing the damage trade. Uh, it's like it, it comes down a turn or two after the field really like it, the field really matters at some point, but that's a couple turns before this has the chance to come down. So There's a certain I'm, awkwardness of putting it the draw step as well. It means that your opponent knows well in advance what they're playing around. Yeah, I mean you can just slap it on this and I'm really freaking fat. Anyway, I mean, that's kind of like how these plus four count points begin. I think our points draw base are supposed to work anyway. <laughs> Um, mm. I think this card is slightly more playable in general than the previous 3-2, but I still don't think it's playable enough for me to give it more no, than like, it's, a it's definitely like it, it, you're playing it because yeah. Grill. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, I, not a fan of this gun. I'm giving this a niche minus rating because it doesn't do enough in a deck that needs a lot. So, mm -hmm. if you have to play this, then I think there are TD level 3s that are better than this. Probably, like, uh, honestly. Like, uh, she digs top three for a card uh, on play. That, yeah. That's already pretty, like, compared to this. Alright, next card. Uh, it's a joke. So, 1k. Another one. During... <laughs> yes, another one. Uh, <laughs> during your opponent's turn, all of your characters gain 500 power and brainstorm. Spammable. Sorry. It's one cost. Power brainstorm. Every cl um, yes, one cost, brainstorm four. For every one you hit, choose a character. That character gains 1k until the end of your opponent's next turn. So we've already established so split... this set has an other, sir. Yeah, so you can like split the 1k everywhere you want. Uh, but this is not necessary because we just, like you just, you know, Chris just said, this set has an other, sir effect, which lets you mill through your deck if a spammable, like if you need to mill out your deck. That's also a discard out. If you need a way to pay out climaxes, it's not like you're short on those either. Like you have a decent enough brainstorm you have decent enough one ones i don't think there's a reason to run this unless you're running mono blue and at that point you're not building to try and be the best you're building because you want third years basically yeah niche what do you guys think this, this has and like there's also a spammable um brainstorm in yellow that's like a search. Yeah, actually, search and just yeah. Yeah. spoiler. Yeah, yeah, that that ruby, I think it's a ruby. I think um, it's a. Better it is card. ruby. Yeah, it's yeah. a better card in general. All right. All right. Well, next card. Uh, capture stance, cannon not zero. It's a zero zero one five. When this is placed from stage to waiting room, check the top card of your deck. Put it either on top or bottom. And oh, that's that's fine, I guess. And then when your other character is placed from the stage to the waiting room, if this is in the back row, you may sack it. If you do, put that character rested in the slot it was in. So it's like a slightly better Teddy? Uh, well, I think the first one was actually, it was either in DC or LB. Sure. But, um, yeah, it Teddy's is the one that comes to upgrade. my mind first, though. It is a straight up upgrade from the sack this in the back row, um, tropes that we've seen before at I mean, the cost of five. I guess power. you can call combo with the bomb. Yeah, I mean, I like I was just kind of dedicating space to even run this card, and this card is definitely not something we'll actually play at zero. It's I would be inclined to play this if I'm running thing. Yoki Sobo for the extra scry effect and more dank <sighs> memes. Okay, I don't, I don't want to see this card played because there's just no room in the deck, and most of the cards, like most of the cards that would die in this deck. are either replaceable or cards you want to die in the first place. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I don't think you need this. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a backup yeah. to your 1-0 if that dies. I don't think it's a bad card. Like, the scry effect is fine. And then the secondary effect is also okay. Like, it's it's fine. I, I can see but... you playing this like as a 4 of in the mono blue deck as insurance for your 1-0 double R. Mari thing. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's reasonable, I guess. It's a niche card. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next card, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Gentle Smile, Dear Kurosawa. Uh, 0025. If you have one or few other characters, this gains 1k in the ability. The character opposite this cannot move to another slot. It's an anti runner. These are so this is, fine. Yeah, this is, this is actually a competitor for. Yeah, for, for a card you want to play as your level 0 throwdown. 
I actually like this card a lot. Uh, I'm not going to go as far as to say you should play it over the runner, because sometimes your opponent doesn't have a runner and instead has a bomb, at which point this just gets one for one. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to give this a playable rating, yeah. uh, with a lean towards playable plus, and a, another lean towards the fact you want some yellow fixing, which is why I would advocate the runner over this. Um, one thing, like, I personally prefer planning for is, like, if I had to make a choice between, like, anti versus meta, for instance, I'm almost always leaning towards meta purely because you are less likely to run into the, like, the counter than you are to the, the thing that's more popular. Right. I mean, the reason meta is good is because meta decks are good. Exactly. Like, that, that, I mean, that's why they're the meta, right? Do me, I have to say this? Like, it feels so stupid. Like, to, yeah. To me, this is an, <laughs> it, is an anti-meta card, and as a result, it's more narrow. Uh, you're playing <laughs> around the existence of runners, and if you happen to play against a deck that doesn't run runners, then it's Pretty like... Much. It, it, you, it just you, becomes a green 35. It's like still a 35. Which is fine, yeah. but if it gets bombed, it doesn't have any recourse. Whereas a runner beats out bombs, it's and like, the last last I checked, bombs are pretty much. But but everywhere. runners beat more than bombs. That's the thing, right? Runners beat oversizes. Runners beat undersizes. Like that's mm -hmm. that's a lot of what makes a runner good. Um, in this case, it's like if you brought an answer to a specific problem, and you don't encounter that problem, what was the point? Mm-hmm. So, I don't think you need this. You have a runner. You can just have the problem. Mm -hmm. I agree. Problem instead of trying to supposedly solve it. <laughs> right? Like, you can't solve a problem that isn't always there, but you can always be that problem that forces your opponent to have the answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a more powerful thing to be doing. In general, I do agree. Runners are just higher power level because there's so much better in so many situations. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Tokyo Chance, Kanan Matsuo, 004K. Oh my god, I've never seen this drawback before. <laughs> when your climax or your opponent's climax is placed in the climax zone, put this in the waiting room. That's such so, a strange, strange. Robert. Half of that's good. The other half yeah, is Yeah, because really especially if there's a lot of people are playing these on reverse advantage yeah. combos at level one. Yeah, the like on having this and the runner in your front row is powerful. Oh, yeah, sorry. Like that completely stops that. There was one thing I but... forgot to mention about the previous card that I just want to say real yep. quick. It doesn't even it. have the bonus of other anti runners of completely messing with people at level three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, that's only that's only relevant if you play like two souls in your deck, like in LB. It's not really. It's used not relevant much. here so much, but like the fact is, like your opponent is more likely to make a mistake when there is a mistake to be made, and this card makes those mistakes exist. That's fair enough, but um. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Anti runners usually make that mistake exist. That zero zero cannot yeah. because if you have an empty board with this is your only thing, you have probably have a problem. Mm. All right. Really? <laughs> yeah, let's move on. So let's talk about this 4K. I like the second part where it just goes away if your opponent plays a climax. It means they're more likely to overswing. Yeah, you might eat the three, but whatever. They're not getting their own reverse combo. Yeah. I don't like the bit where it can't be just a random mob for you to slam. It can't carry any soul from a climax, basically. Yeah, like, I, you I, can't even encore it because when it, you do, it comes back tapped. Yeah, I think it's. Mm. I don't think you play this. That is a tremendous downside. That's that's enormous. There are so many times when all you want is to hit them with some with some extra soul, and this can't add, this can't facilitate that. This is automatically a bad card, just straight up. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. give it anything else. I, in general, cards that are completely dead at level 3, because you're usually slamming climaxes at level 3, mm. tend to just yeah, fundamentally I, I be bad. I can't, can't get my card. It, it outweighs the one advantage it has. Well, well I mean, it's a strong it. advantage, but it's an yeah. enormous disadvantage. Yeah, it's a very double-edged sword. <laughs> Well, it's a double-edged sword. It Only sets... if both edges are facing towards the person using it most that's, of the time. That, that's pretty much what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> like... Alright, alright. Alright. 
Look, you make playing your Kanan waifu next. That's fine, man. Uh, next card, Good Sisters, Dear Kurosawa. Um, so it's a one one six k. If there are four more cards in your stock, this gains one k. If you have three or more other music characters, this gains one k. Now, this is the sort of thing I think you should run with the one zero Kanan. Like, yeah. Notably, it doesn't get a... killed by the rare one zero bomb. Uh, the zero cost bombs. Yeah. No. Um. This is a. This is a perfectly serviceable card. It still gets bombed, but I mean, what if you have like... 10k is, 10K is pretty big, though. Hey, you're saying you can with zero calling a bring uh, this thing if, back if you're, if, you're if you're fulfilling both conditions, yeah. it's going to be 10k on a oh, no. turn with both back rows. No, no, no. What, no. Rin, Rin, is, Rin is right. What you do is you have one back row to make it 9k, then you have the it's joke, and then that can sack itself to keep the 1-1 one, one alive. Oh, oh yeah, not it's fine. joke. It's with Conan. I don't remember. It's whatever. <laughs> you get a hand encore. You get a free hand encore. That's what's. That's what yeah, matters. Yeah. The, yeah. You, you. You. Everyone knows what I'm talking about, right? The zero zero, which yeah. sacks itself in back row. Um. Oh yeah, it is a cannon. Good point. Uh. Yeah. So that is uh. That's like this is the game plan for the blue deck, I guess. So I, I guess I have to give this a niche rating. Uh. With the caveat that this is what you play mono blue to. Like this is what you do when you play mono blue. Like you have to play a card like this. It's like a gap killing stock, right? It's just not a very powerful thing to be doing. No, no it's not powerful. That's the thing. You have to be powerful. All right. Uh, that's just the fatty. This next one, it's joke. Uh, one one six k. When this attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a music trait, this gains two k for the turn, and it's got hand on call. So on defense, it is just 6k. On offense, it is often 8k. If you're playing um, in the mono blue deck, it could be 7 or 8k, depending on the circumstances that you're in. Oh, that's still not that that's still not for, worth for, paying for a, a stop for. character, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah. one of the one of the primary reasons to play blue at all is to use the relatively good blue events. So that makes this even worse. Uh, music characters in general. So I don't know why you would run this when you could just run yeah, the deal, and you could, and you could, yeah, and you could just um, use the canard back row to save it. Yes. Uh, uh, niche minus. Niche, niche minus, I think, is a suitable rating actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, it's joke. Another one. Two one five hundred. Two one five hundred. Oh, it's a counter. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. two one five hundred. Um, when does it place from hand to stage? Draw a card and discard a card. Not when you use the counter. When you play it from hand to stage. So keep that in mind. It's not just a two one counter that lets you draw a draw. You have to play this card onto the field. Only... <laughs> yeah. And then it's a three K counter, uh, which is fine. Uh, I think this is the three K counter of choice because no matter how small that stupid. Uh, um, like Everyone's had that is. moment where they had to play the 2 1 counter in their hand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you play enough wise, it gets to that point. Like, being at least able to get some upside off of it is pretty nice. Of course, the vast majority of my experience playing 2 1 counters involved Green Odera, so that's not exactly a fair comparison. <laughs> something, something, Kaiki kills this something. I mean, oh, that's a, something, something. It probably killed herself attacking first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you <laughs> ran this thing in. Unless for some reason you somehow opened up a lane. No, that's yeah. a Persona 5's thing. Just opening up lanes. I mean, you could bounce with Yoshiko. Oh, sure. Oh, man, the value. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All these spoiler alerts. Paying yeah. one to draw a ditch every turn? Wow. Look, let's just call it a 200 yard counter. Draw ditch, spoiler. It's a two and vanilla cattle upside. You're correct, there is a better draw ditch, and it's coming up very soon. Uh, it's a 2-1 counter, and that makes it playable. I don't know what else to say. Everything else is just upside, and by upside I mean it happens 1 in 100 games. The most and marginal when it happens, of upsides. It's not even a marginal upside. Like The effect is objectively fine. There is nothing wrong with that. I play cards which just read the first line. And I play them because they read the first line. You mean the second but line? The no, no, the first. The I mean, first. The first. I uh, mean, draw a ditch. Oh, draw a ditch, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I've played yeah. cards just because of the second LB, line, too. Yeah. I've played vanilla 3k yeah. counters before for reasons. Like, LB and Clannad play the first ability, and they like it, albeit costless. So, yeah, this card is fine. Like, I've got no issue with Aren't it. Aren't those bigger than this, too? Yeah, they're both 1k. <laughs> 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 
couple of days, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just so had to make lose, sure. They lose head to they lose head to head against the zero zero draw drops. Wow, but being a, a two one counter is worth a lot. What so a yeah, card! That's really cool. No, but <laughs> I've played vanilla cards. You know, before. Use more two one counter. There's, there is a there is a two one counter I want to bring to your attention. It's in LB. It's a two one. I believe it's two five counter, and it has the text: When this reverses its battle opponent, you may return it to your hand. Beautiful. It's five hundred pounds. Yeah, that's easy. It. It's it's uh it's like two five it's two five power I think. Oh, so it can it's actually two, maybe two reverse five. something once in a while. I have reversed more than one character with that card. Beautiful. Yeah, I needed the attack like I I needed to. Yeah, anyway. yeah. playable. Next card. <laughs> right. Uh, it's it's joke. It's a two one. Uh, no. no, it's not. It's just kind of. Are you sorry, okay? Sorry. I, yeah, am I okay? No, I'm not okay. Work was hard. It's a 2 1 cannot. It's a, uh, all your level 3 or higher characters gain 2k power. And I really like this effect, by the way. Nice. Rest two characters, draw a card, and ditch a card. Nice. I really like that effect. That's it's it. just. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan. Like, you dig deeper for your climate outlook. I, I know that's barely an effect, but I like the fact that you get a on-command discard out. It's costless. You draw in, you possibly draw into something that you care about. Uh, and, again, it's costless, and that's amazing. Not to mention this makes your Hanamaru actually kind of big, and I think that's oh so important. I'm like, uh, even if you weren't playing that level 3 game, like, it makes all of your level 3s kind of big, and that's kind of yeah. relevant because for instance with the red combo one of the issues that you still have even with this like even just one of this isn't necessarily going to be enough is that you don't get a second chance because it's going to die yeah. this will this sometimes get you one or two then. extra uses yeah i appreciate that a lot and i always like having that one level two assist in my deck in any deck that has an advanced summon just in case i'm coming up against a deck which really really needs to get rid of that advanced summon otherwise they just it spirals out of control and this lets you spiral out of control sometimes and i appreciate that a lot so yeah, I, i'm playing one in my uh in my memes build of this deck this is a play oh, and the blue yeah, like even though the deck is primarily yellow red the blue splash is practically free because you have the deer and the other deer and also oh, the no, anti no. Why are they all deers? Just all of the good double zero blues are deers. Surprise. And oh, no, 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 no. Apparently, Boucherot has made a decision on who they think best girl is. Oh, I, I, I actually <laughs> think oh, based on pure... Best third year, maybe? Purely based on aesthetic, deer is best girl, and that's not disputable. Uh, but <laughs> I, I don't I don't watch these shows, man. Yeah, okay. Next card. Uh pretty dance, best girl. When this attacks, if the level of the character opposite is three or higher, this gains three K till the end of your opponent's next turn. So it becomes a two on ten K. And Oh, I, I moved on. This is this this is different yeah. grill from the per, per uh previous grill. Uh yes, it is. So but which one is best grill? I did grill? say the one that's all on, on all the level zeros, not the one just prior. Oh sure. I wasn't well, referring the last to card wasn't a Dia. That was a Kanan. No, no, that no. was a Kanan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, saying I got, kill him, Dia's best bro. <laughs> yes. Uh, so if you have the climax in the uh, climax zone, and that climax is a stock soul, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, stock soul. Uh, yeah, so if you have that, this gains 3-5 and the ability, when the battle opponent is reversed, you may bottom deck it. So you can bottom deck a, an opposing level 3, or you can just bottom deck a rando level 1. Like, whatever floats your boat. Uh, so, this is not going to kill a level 3 without the climax combo, for sure. I, I mean... 13,500 13, oh, is usually enough. Um, yeah. 13, 10 is not. I think this is the... Like, this is a... I'm a broken record at this point, but these trio climax combos play second fiddle to the better climax combos in each color. So even if you're playing yeah. a monocolor deck, there's just better cards to play. For example, yeah. uh, in this set, the key advantage combo at level one is actually a stupid um a time machine combo that's what i think anyway uh and i would rather play that than this because that's a one zero five 
5k that also comes with a stock soul for the for the record and then your level threes that... are all combo tied as well yeah it's combo the the pants is the other one you play because of the canon uh yeah so <laughs> i don't think this card sees play at all no I mean, we're talking about Aki level 3 here, we have Chico Chaka me. If I'm going to be consistent yeah. with how I dirty. rated... If I'm going to be consistent with how I rated the trio combos before, this is also just going to be a bad card, you shouldn't be playing it. Yeah, I no, think that's reasonable, bad. you can call it bad. Alright, next card. Um, feelings getting across, Mar Really? It's... Yes, it exists. <laughs> well, well, there you go. There was never a need for me to, to... Okay, look, so, it's joke. This is a common. It's a come and play, draw a card, ditch a card. Uh, did you know this card costs, like, uh, 780 yen in Clannard? Like, it's a, it's a really good card. And you should strongly consider playing this if you don't want to play the DS support. Uh, draw drop is just an underappreciated... You can play, play alongside it for even more, or a yeah, more on-demand on on -demand draw drop on top of their opponent scrub storming. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, uh, you, you also have Nazus effect. Yeah. But um, this is a powerful one that draws you deeper to your climax combo or whatever. Uh, I have a I am very biased towards this effect because I just think it is one of the strongest things you can do at level zero in terms of setting up your combo. So I'm automatically giving this a playable plus. I don't know what other people. Oh, playable plus. I'm giving it the yeah. standard playable personally. Um, That's fair. I've played with this profile probably a lot more than most people, so I'm I I, I think it's just obscenely powerful when it's powerful, and when it's not powerful, it's still very good. Next so up. Or not, either way. Oh. Is this another one of these? <laughs> it's a vanilla! Oh. <laughs> uh, you, you can give us your it's, thoughts it's on the vanilla. It's a vanilla of eggs. Yeah, feel free to give us the thoughts on your, um, uh, on, on the vanilla. Alright, now we're going hard. Alright, so let's, let's just jump to an actual real card. Uh, it's a ones, oh. Okay, never mind. It's a 1 0 5k. Uh, during battles involving this, no one can play backups. When this tax, if favorite 2 is in the climax zone, which is the book, uh, you may pay cost or pay 1 uh, if you do draw a card. Woo, it's garbage. This is like the worst Ilya I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's bad. I. I... <laughs> I'm just out here going late. <laughs> this is actually bad. Like, this is this would be a candidate for the canon buffs. It'd be a one zero seven k, which is not insignificant. But then you can't even counter like. That's not big enough. What is seven k is not wrong. big enough about counter support. No. I do agree. It is it is very difficult to just. Oh, no, do we have event counters? There's a one There's one in yellow. There's a yellow one, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, not good enough. Then. What? How Next. did we forget the three two event counter in red? Oh uh, no, we don't try to counter my great two. Go, go sit in the corner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. You're the I'm, one building the meme for, deck. Time out for you. No, all right, let's let's go on. Um, it's joke. Well, if you want memes, then this entire character is a Are meme. Are you okay? This yeah. is not it's joke. Just, you just called best your girl. best girl is joke. Show us your best girl dying. I'll pick one. Did I skip a card? I skipped a card. Whatever. Uh, one zero five k. When this is placed from hand to stage, uh, if you have another ruby in name, it's because they're sisters. Spoiler alert. This gains two k for the turn. Yeah. Uh, come and play seven k if you have a ruby, which I mean, is this fine. Gets to join the rest of the one zero seven k's at playable barely. Just uh, straight up unplayable. Is it playable? I mean, I guess you run a ruby that actually does things, but... Actually, this one has a condition tied to another specific character. This one gets demoted to niche. Yeah... This one is bad okay, because you one? can't put it in the waifu deck. Like, you, by definition, you can't put it in the waifu deck. Oh, sure. No, it's because it's a sister deck. But that's not waifu. That is totally not a deck. Oh, it's not waifu. Put accessory character rule. <laughs> Alright. Based on these... Based on these gifts I've seen of um of the red-headed girl, she's basically autistic. <laughs> <laughs> is this your professional Ooh. opinion? Uh, she, she probably isn't. It was just over overblown for comedic relief, but 
he did yeah, some very he's... stupid things. Anyway, yeah, let's he's... get on to actual <laughs> it's a joke. So, this next one is the joke. Uh, one zero five. Is the joke? She is the joke. Uh, is she a joke? Yes. It's Goku. Cars? When when she, uh, at the start of your encore step, if you've got the stock soul of her in the climax zone, send it to memory. And if you do, at the beginning of your draw phase, choose this same character, well, a copy of this character from memory, and put it in any slot on stage. That character gains two levels and two five for the turn. I don't know why it gains two levels, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, so well, can... uh, it's a spoil. It's still goes spoiler alert. She it says right there. It's been two years in the flavor text. Yeah. So yeah, guess actually goes away, it. comes back two years later. Oh, on. that's right, because she used to go to the, um... Wait, did she... Go... Was she the one who went to the Muse school, or...? No, 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 She transferred in her first year and then came back during her third year. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's true. So, something, something, <laughs> the flavor, something, something, plays really yeah, well with the 2-1, something, something, it's actually playable. Well, it's, actually, it's uh, niche, it's actually because pretty it's funny not better than the one zero. Red combo. I will add that there is a pretty funny play you can do with this. Um, I have a promo card for this though. Um, Urano Ho Hoshi Summer Uniform, Yo Watchinabe, on play, pay one. Give a character a uh, level reverse. So you bring uh, her back as a level 3, and then you could have that reverse a level, opposing level 3. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 it's just something worth mentioning. I think. Yeah, no, I think that's reasonable enough because this does get to level three, level she one. She also notably um, gets pumped by the two one support, so she can be yeah. nine five. And she can get pushed by two one. Level two. Uh, maybe niche, 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 niche plus. Which isn't terrible. Yeah, this is niche plus. This is niche. I wouldn't call it niche plus, but I do think it's the best level one combo in blue. Sure. I don't sure. think it's close. That's <laughs> uh, next up. Next card. You gotta uh, stay consistent. Hulk, Kanan, uh, when it's tax, if you've got the bad stock soul in the climax zone, this gains X power to the end of your opponent's next turn. X is the number of your music characters. This makes it a 1 1 9 K. A 1 1 bombable 9 K. I mean, on, it's on, not on, bad. On, on, 11K. No inherent encore ability 9 K. Yeah, it's a 1 1 bombable 9 K. If your opponent doesn't have a bomb effect, they're actually stuck fighting a 1 1 like massive card and they have to side, which is fine i suppose but if you can't chain climaxes then you go back to being a 6-5 on offense and you can remember which... why people don't really play soundless voice yeah pretty much <laughs> like it's a this card sounds good in theory because you stonewall your opponent for a turn but if they're smart and know how to say the word side and attack in that order then <laughs> this is really that big of a problem what you're not going to attack their <laughs> sides that's a <sighs> Well, you can attack the sides, but make sure you also side attack. This is just a... It's it's a card that you can play, and beginners will probably think it's great, because it does give a lot of power. But, again, once you learn that side attacking is a thing, this becomes a lot less scary. And even if the, your opponent skips a turn because they don't manage to play a climax, uh, you're forced to, to have probably unfavorable attacks against any modern deck. So I think this card also gets a niche rating, because... It bad, probably it does just. Good. You probably no. do just win the game against bad players with this, but I don't know, you man. Can't, like, you can't rely on that. No, I feel like I, this is just a bad it's card. Just bad. It takes a climax slot. That matters a yeah. ton, right? Well, the other one-one bomb really options get to barely smaller without using a climax spot, and they're consistently barely smaller. Hmm. All right, let's let's jet through the rest of these. Two two seven five. First live Kana Matsura. This game's encore just constantly. If all your characters are music, I don't even know if there are non music characters in this no, set. There are not. Yeah, well then that's that's stupid. No, no shit talking cards here. Uh, when this attacks, if you have three or more other music characters, gains two K, so it becomes nine five. And when the battle opponent of this is reversed, you may pay cost if you do draw a card. Uh, the cost Ooh. is the clock yourself. And level two on a two two nine five. Like if this isn't good in vivid red now, why would it be good at well, a level later in a set that has better level two options? Yeah, you're not playing this card. <laughs> it's not intrinsically bad though. I don't think it's actually bad. Like a two two hand on core nine five is fine. 
It's, it's not nine five. It's se it's seven five. It's only nine five on. It's nine five on offense. Yeah. Oh, it's only on offense. Yeah. All right, yeah. strike that. Yeah. All right, that yeah, is no, I think if you're playing, deck. I think if you're playing this, then something is going wrong. To be honest. Niche uh, wifey deck. Yeah. All right. Sure. Niche minus. Uh, next card. Uh, it's joke. If you have three or more other music characters, this gains a level and one five. That's like uh, unfortunate, actually. It's a bad thing. It means it gets anti changed. Uh, oh, kill, when, uh, kill cost, sick. Yeah. I mean, it also when gets to be 11k with a 2 1 back row. I guess. Uh, when we want to shine is placed in your climax zone. You, if this is in the front row, you may pay 2. If you do, search your deck for up to 1 level 2 or lower blue card and put it in an empty slot. I, I say Yo. blue card, but in reality, it's card with Marie. Um, uh, so, I it's accidentally say, said her name, but it's it's joke, uh, Kanan or Dia in name, and put it on an empty slot on stage. Uh, oh, so you can noise. search. Well, she searches yeah, herself. Can, you can search herself, but yeah. you cannot re-trigger the climax because the climax has already been played, and you've missed the timing. But you can just get another uh, level yeah, three. Three soul character, yes. Yeah. I mean, and, if you had the back row, it's going to be eleven k two soul beater at level two. Which means that it's actual. Well, in general, this is competing with other actual early place characters in addition yeah. to requiring a climax. Uh, it's not as good as the other early plays, and it also requires a climax. It's just not good. I'm not a fan. Even if you're already, if you're already running the stock soul, it's a consideration. But you're using four stock off the bat for some pretty fragile characters. Well, uh, I guess technically for this one, um, it'd be more of a pay three. For the kill for the character, you yeah, can't kill the game, it's a stock soul. soul. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm still not a fan. Like, I'm going to give it a niche minus, because I don't think it's a good card compared to the other, um, sure the, other playing bad. the other effects. Yeah. It's, it's bad. No, well, no. It's, it's not bad because the next card is just bad. I mean, I, I actually think this is bad, but... Oh, okay, uh, well, like, that's fine. Like, it, agree to disagree. I think the card is, at least you can play it in a blue deck and not feel like you're the worst player in the world. Sure. Or is there some cards where you play right. it and you are the worst player? Right. This one. <laughs> yeah. This is, so, this is strictly worse. Gendo pose dial. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Was, this is not strictly so, worse. Yeah, it's not strictly worse because it's Neo with Evangelion. Um, it's not strictly worse. It's also not level three on board, which is a problem. Anyway, I'll give that a bad move on. <laughs> all right so this blue event i think is actually one of the draws to play blue at all uh two one event oh, yeah, it's... The, uh, level ones. yeah, yeah not account. Account. reveal the top card of your deck if it's level one or higher put up to one card from the top of your clock in the waiting room choose a character that card um, character gains 4k to the end of your opponent's next turn send this to memory so you have one chance do you take it uh <laughs> Or do I let it slip? Exactly. Uh, no, this <laughs> played with the Canon. The Canon zero zero lets you check the top card, uh, which I think is pretty solid. And then the Canon one zero also lets you do that. So there are plenty of ways to check the top card of your deck and make sure this goes off. At which point it is a one cost heal that gives something four k. Until end of fun turn. It's like not the worst thing ever. I've played uh, Dragon I think Stream before and not been disappointed. Card. Playable minus. Playable minus. Plus. Yeah, this is a, no, a non-bondable Dragon Stream that heals. Dragon Stream didn't heal. No, but Dragon Stream was not also like very playable, to be honest. But Dragon Stream was also can a one-one event, and can we not talk about Dragon Stream? It makes me sad. <laughs> like it was a one-one mm. event, but it had a character name requirement. But luckily, that there was no was... reason it didn't. Ha it wasn't a counter. Like there's no reason it shouldn't have just been a counter. Well, it's it's power until the end of <laughs> opponent's turn. Uh... So it's you kind of like a counter. It's like a counter, yeah. but like shittier. All right. And it's pretty fun when you had like one zero seven fives. Let's just move on to to the truth the truth behind the meme. It played pretty <laughs> one... badly, however, with like the fact that you wanted your dudes to die. Yeah. You say truth behind the meme. <laughs> Yes, I said truth behind the meme because that's what it's actually called. It's a oh, one zero. I, I know his name, but I thought you said. I, I misheard you saying meme. <laughs> I did say meme. That's exactly what I said. 
Right. It's a one zero. Uh, it's Jahaya's camera. It's Junketsu. It's uh, it's barrels. Like uh, draw check canister or transport. Yeah, that one, the the blue can't tie it. But, uh, check top four, add one to hand, put the rest in the waiting room. Playable. It's a playable card in the blue deck. Yes. There's an us as a character though, right? Yes. Yeah. Level one. Yeah. Do you need? Oh, it's only for yellow. Yeah. No, 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 it's, no, it's, no, no. It's a yellow That's level one. It's from music. It's from music. music. Oh, but it's also level one. Do you need yeah. two yeah. of these effects yeah. in one deck? Uh, you need this in the mono blue deck. Oh, I mean, if you're running mono blue, then sure. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, what you're saying in the context of a sec deck, like, there is, as you say, level one version. If you're playing it, if you're it. playing it mono blue though, then that defines niche, no? Mm, yes, actually, you're right. I I'll call it niche. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. All right. Uh, that's blue done, and we'll get yellow sorted soon.